السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته guys welcome back to Mama Leila's channel so today we gonna cook barrett rice part two the other way of cooking barrett rice so we start with uh, cutting our onions as you can see I've used two big onions not really big but they are of course big so this is how i do it it's easier for me to remove this dry skin as i'm busy cooking look at this fella uh -huh, what happened here what happened this is not good don't touch me okay guys let's get back to our business this is how my onions turns out to be if you want them crispy you can soak them in water and add in salt salt but since i don't want mine crispy that's why i'm not going to soak them so what I do, I get a frying pan, like you can see, I add in cooking oil, a glass of it or two of it. So I fry my onions on high heat until they are brown. As I'm waiting for my onions to get browned, I move on to my rice and I have used two and a half glasses of rice as you can see. So I rinse this rice properly. And I put it as I put it aside. So I move back to my onions. I think this is the color I like. So I put it out of oil. As you can see. So not like that. some salt on my onions so guys in another saucepan I add my rice and I'm going to leave it to boil for about five to eight minutes of high heat I add a bit of cooking oil here So guys, as I'm waiting for my rice to cook for about 8 to 5 minutes, I move on and I get a 
another step. So I use two tablespoons of ghee, and this is vegetable ghee. And I add in a bit of oil, like I mix, as you can see. The oil I'm using is the one I used to, to fry my onions. So, it's smelling really nice. I add in onions. And then my mudalatini or cinnamon. And my cardamoms, and they are kutabla mum. I kutabla and kutabla. I mix until my onions are soft. So, guys, this is how my chili looks like. My rice. So, what I'm going to do? I'm going to rinse it. I rinse my rice in cold water. This will help me not to be like sticky or like it won't be sticky or it won't be like posho like I don't know how to say it. So now I'm going to remove this water and meanwhile how my onions have turned out to be which is really nice so I move on to the next step and that is I'm going to crush some coriander with garlic and I've used five cloves of garlic so guys this is how I like it I put it in So I add my salt, you add salt according to your taste, so I add my rice, as you can see it's half cooked, not fully cooked, I mix properly. Then guys, I ha I add half cup of saffron. Uh, no, sorry, raisins. After adding my raisins, I put in a little bit of water, like that. So guys, you remember my rice is half cooked. That's why I haven't added a lot of water and this is how it looks really colorful really nice so what i'm going to do is i put in my fried onions like that i can wait with the mixing until I cook halfway so what I have to do is I just have to cover and wait for a couple of minutes as I'm cooking on low heat Nchere gwa femi kwa na wagutuwe gula visa Tatiera antabula mu Ngoe mula ba wagutungulu wange ne food color viso gulu kwe tabulu gulu unje Mikwano pictures. Mikwano pictures can't do justice, but that's how it looks. You can as well try it out. Yeah, and you can serve it with any dish, meat, vegetables, whatever your wish is. Bon appetit. Ciao.